Welcome back everyone to another episode of Is Brickitect Buying It? This is the series where I put the personality into the Lego news that you watch. And today's episode could be classified as the super happy Brickitect edition because this morning Clark and I got up and the first thing that we do of course is get into Apocalypseburg. So I open up a bag, we start building it and I decide that I'm gonna get out my iPad and we'll watch some Lego videos. And the first thing that happens when I go to my subscription page is I see all these beautiful thumbnails of this amazing vintage set or so I thought. So I click on it and it turns out that it's not a vintage set at all but a new Lego Ideas set that's coming out, and it is set number 21322, Lego Ideas, Pirates of Barracuda Bay. And I'm just like, what? This looks like a set that I would have had as a kid that would have been if my parents actually had a good amount of money and could have bought me a really big pirate ship, which I wish I could have had. But it's never too late, my friends, because this set, Oh my goodness, it looks absolutely incredible. It is a, well, I, let me go back in time a little bit. When this idea set was announced, it was just called, I think, just Pirate Bay. At the time, I wasn't really excited about it. It was a very gritty set, not many colors, and I didn't like have that pirate's feel to it that I really like want in a Lego set. This is like the opposite of what they did with the Flintstones set. I love the Flintstones ideas, and then when they made that a set, I was kind of let down. This is the exact opposite. This is like, they took a, a meh set for me, even though a lot of people were hyped about it. It, and they took it like there was this level they went like way out of the frame up here they're just at this level up here and should I just answer the question is Bricktech buying it of course I'm buying it because this set not only is like a pirate hideout or like a an island or whatever where everyone's just kind of like pen up because the, the ship crashed there. But when I found out that you could take this island and take like three parts of the ship and put them together and convert it into an actual pirate ship which was like that is what I want in my life. And I may be, I don't know if this is the popular opinion or unpopular opinion, because there's not a lot of opinions that are out there or opinions at all, but I kind of like the pirate ship better than just the island. And from what I understand, there is still a little bit of island left when you make the pirate ship. It's like a three piece thing here and I'll have the images up here, of course, but I love that pirate ship. It's got sails, it's got the works. The minifigs from this are also fantastic. Looks like you get eight of them. And it's a lot of the ones that when I think back to my childhood, these are the characters that I remember, and this is what I really love about Lego. So for anybody that's an old dude like me, that's a fan of old Lego, as, as it's known in some circles, I feel like this set was made for you, and maybe even for kids that never got a chance to experience the Pirates theme, this is a chance for you to kind of get into it, and in a big way, because this is a $200 set. So you better have your checkbook out, your debit card, your credit card, whatever you have, you better have it available, because this is gonna set you back a little bit. But for the size of it, I think it's about 2,500 pieces. It's 2,545. I think that's a good buy. I think you're gonna have a lot of fun with this. This has old fishing store vibes to it. It's it's gonna keep you busy. You're gonna have a fun time building it. And for me, this is fantastic because now it's given me a deadline on Apocalypseburg, which I hope I would have hit anyway, but this coming out on April 1st in the Lego stores if they're open, which I don't think they will be at that point, and also on shop.lego.com, available there. I'm gonna probably order it there, so it's gonna take a little bit of time to get it. But I wanna have Apocalypseburg done, so I, I'm gonna have that finished up, and maybe even a set in the meantime, but I'm really excited about getting this. I'm 100% on board with this. I would love Lego if they could do a little bit of a promo with this. I mean, I know that's asking a lot because they probably don't really need to, considering people are gonna flock to this anyway. If, if you're feeling like I'm feeling, and you can let me know in the comments how you are feeling, see what I did there. But yeah, I, I'm all on board with this, uh, quite literally on board with this pirate ship. And I can't wait to have that bad boy in display. I'm, I'm trying to debate though, maybe the, now I'm looking at it, maybe the the island or whatever that's made of the ship is like a better display piece, but I at least want to play around with the ship. And it looks like you can do that and bring it back and forth as much as you want, which is perfect because not only am I a collector of Lego and, and a fan of building Lego, I'm also a fan of playing with Lego. And of course with a five-year-old son, that's oftentimes what we do. So this is this is like perfect for me and I couldn't be more happy. And I feel like today is like Christmas for me because I, I like literally just get on YouTube and I'm like, amazing Lego set coming your way and it's coming out in like a week. It doesn't get much better than that. I hope you guys are excited about this too and I'm anxious to hear what, what your opinions are on this. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Is Brick Tech Buying It? I love saying yes to stuff like this. I am stoked on this, guys.